everybody, I'm Tribubu Bubbles, and today we're using Lizard Tail Dragon Fist. That is the name of my ACR class with Red Dot. And if you didn't notice, uh, I also have a class named Chuck Snorris, and oh, wow, I just got owned. I also have an Oprah Lint Free class, Lint Free, <laughs> so funny. Anyway, <laughs> I've got some funny class names, like Warren Abacus, that's another, that's another great one. Five star name that I thought of myself. So anyway, today I'm using the ACR Red Dot on Wasteland. Uh, this is a very good score for uh, Ground War. It is Ground War, but um, very good score uh, considering my KD. I was going for more KD than objective-based, but that's a thing we never really needed. Uh, like I didn't really need to capture because I was going completely like full out for kill streaks and stuff. So I was really helping my team out in that aspect. And ooh, I got all the So yeah, I start off the game, run around. I always try to flank. See, I do like help out capture. I clear the way, I guess. I don't really like capture, but I help somewhat. So anyway, today I'm gonna be uh, trying to help you get better at Modern Warfare 2. All right, so some tactics and tips. Uh, and also kill streak help. Especially the like, kill streaks, it all is on the map because Skid Row. There's like nowhere to drop airstrikes, and ooh, sit down, noob. There's nowhere to drop airstrikes, so why would you use airstrikes? This map, it's completely open, so I have precision airstrike, and look, that's where they're spawning. They've got one flag. This look how many kills they get. Well, actually, I don't get that many. I get like a triple kill, but still, something like that. Then I get my stealth bomber, another great kill streak for this map. So I'm running uh, Precision Airstrike, Stealth Bomber, and Chopper Gunner. And I think I get them all twice. But yeah, you can see how many kills I got there. So now I'm 14 to 1 already, and uh, my teammate has an attack helicopter. I don't know why he's using it. That's like the worst kill streak in the game. Well, not really. It just takes up airspace. That's why I don't like it. But anyway, so I have my Chopper Gunner, and uh, Chopper Gunner is a very good kill streak, especially like it's a good highest one, so like something to work towards getting, um, like, you don't want it as your lowest, that'd be kind of stupid, unless you were uber, you could get EMP and nuke, so it's it's a good last kill streak, or if you want to go for nuke or EMP, you could be the second, and uh, a good starter is like Predator, or Harrier, even, oh, that was a big multi-kill, even um, Precision's a good starter, if you can get six kills in a row, that's pretty good, uh, or seven with the Harrier. So right now I'm like 33 and 1 already, and uh, basically you want to take it one enemy at a time, and that's the Puma Leap. If you if you saw that, that's the Puma Leap. You can't dolphin dive, but you can Puma Leap, okay? You run forward, jump, and then lay down, and it's a Puma Leap. You'll see what I'm, I mean. You can like go back and watch that, and uh, I've patented it, so you can feel free to use it. It's a pr pretty great maneuver. Uh, anyway. So yeah, you want to take it one guy at a time. You don't want to try and take on like six enemies, although that's great for montages. If you want a good KD, um, you, you really need to go one guy at a time. And if, especially if you see guys like, if you have a UAV and you know a guy's going to come around the corner, why would you run around the corner and try to kill him? You're just going to get hurt. Like, you'll, you probably notice, yeah, I don't know when it is, but I, I wait for a guy around the corner and he comes around, he comes to me. I don't like running around corners because they're most likely to die. And if you're on a kill streak, take it easy. You don't have to camp. Like right here, I just sat here for a couple seconds and got bored, but I was trying not to die here. And um, it's okay to do that. Like if you just sit here all game, okay, that's a problem. You're clearly a humongous camper. But right here, I just didn't want to die, and uh, clearly uh, it worked out pretty good. So yeah. Nice little, oh fail, I didn't, I thought I didn't die, but I actually did. So anyway, I get my precision airstrike again, and uh, this time I think I get a triple kill. I think. Yeah, I did. Alright, so precision airstrike is a beast, beast kill streak on Wasteland. It's a good kill streak on like Afghan and a few other maps, but high rise, not so much. You don't want to use precision airstrike on high rise, this doesn't make sense. You want to use Harrier, uh, Pavlo, Chopper Gunner, Pred, any of those. Because there are a ton of places to hide. Wasteland, there's only really one. And it's this cave. And since I'm in the cave, it's basically like ownage. So anyway. Um, 
You wanna stay alive, take it slow. Clearly, if you stay alive, it's good. And, um, kinda, you don't wanna, you don't wanna always run into the enemy. You don't wanna go head on all the time. You wanna kinda go around, so like right here. Um, this is the part where I wait for the guy, by the way. So I see the guys coming around, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to hide in the thing. So like, right here, he doesn't know where I am. I don't think, anyway. And look, I don't get hurt whatsoever, and that guy dies, and I live. That's the best part of it all. And I get another precision airstrike. So, yeah, this is, um, I think the, the last kill streak I get, I'll have to cut this game early because the last, like, minute, it's just me running around, and I don't find anyone or anything. So I have another stealth bomber. Look at that, 54 and 4, I think, right now. That's all you gotta do. Like, you can rely on your kill streaks a little bit. You have to get the kill streaks first, and that was a big multi like that. So, yeah, um, pick the appropriate kill streaks. Like, if you can't get the kill streaks, don't, don't try to. Like, don't, don't run AC-130 EMP nuke if you can't get AC-130. You should be able to get your, your first kill streak, like, one and two lives, or every life. So, uh, that's, that's basically how it should work. I know sometimes you go on a death streak or something, but for the most part, you should be able to get it every once in a while. And, uh, your highest kill streak, you should get, like, once a game. That's a good rule. And then the other kill streak, you just get every once in a while. And, um, I have my chopper runner, but the stupid attack helicopter gets in the way. Like, I don't know why everyone kept using it this game. It's kind of annoying, because I have my chopper runner, which is a far better kill streak. Although, that's an enemy one, so it doesn't matter, but... Uh. Uh, anyway, another tip I have is accuracy rules, okay? In case you didn't know this, the most accurate gun will win every time because they do have some power. Like, if they, if you were using, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something that you, like a Nerf gun that was really accurate, that you're not going to win. But if you use the ACR or the FAMAS or the M16 or some of these really, really accurate guns, you're going to win like most of the gunfights unless it's close range and that's key because I mean if you can't hit a guy why bother using the gun like some of these guns like um I'm trying to think of a, a gun like this like the L86 or some of these other light machine guns that are really inaccurate or um say like the AK-47 it's sometimes it, it's like a little bit accurate but you want to use the guns that are accurate you can hit a guy from far away medium and close range so that you have the best chance to kill guys and you will get kills like that and right here is the part where i just run around can't find anyone i hope you this helped you guys uh final score is 16 4 see you later